Linda was sick. She and her husband waited for the test results. The phone call from the hospital came. Linda, the doctor wants to see you face to face. Linda was terrified. Linda and Bruce listen as the doctor explains that she has a stage four melanoma. What is that? Linda, it's cancer. It's very, very serious. From that moment, Linda's life and her family's life drastically changed. So, why am I here? I'm so nervous speaking a second language and giving a TED talk. Uh, Chris is very nice. I said, Betty, don't worry, you will be fine. Just start with a joke. <laughs> because all the TED talks start with a joke. But today I can't. Because Linda's story is a true story. Imagine that moment. You are Linda, or her husband, her daughter, her son, her mother, or her father. I'm a mother. How many of you are parents? Can you show me your hands? How would you feel? What would you do? Fight. You will fight. You will do anything possible to save them, to save the people we love. So, through my work with the WA Hope Foundation, I know many of people afflicted with disease like uh, Parkinson, autism, cancer, cerebral palsy. They think they, they have no chance, but they are wrong. Thanks to breakthrough new medicine, they have a chance. So today, I'm here because I think TED is about making a better world for our children. So I believe that there is hope. Linda's story is just one of many. Let me continue. For 18 months, she tried everything. She had a radiation therapy, chemotherapy, gamma knife therapy for her brain tumor. Multiple surgeries, all in an effort to eliminate the cancer. But it didn't work. After each treatment, new cancer was found. So in the end, the doctor said to her, Linda, I'm sorry. Linda was so desperate. She thought she was going to die. In one final effort to save Linda's life, she started clinical trials for a new cancer treatment. This treatment purifies the cancer cells from the excised tumors and primes the immune system to recognize and attack those cells. The difference is we are targeting the patient's own cancer stem cells. Cancer stem cells are the origin of new tumors. So this treatment decreases or eliminates new tumor growth. So this time for Linda, it worked. No new tumor developed. And the tumors already inside her body began to shrink. After one year, she was cancer free. Five years later, she's still alive. So this treatment is safe and effective. Most important, it is applicable to other types of cancer. Do I have time? Okay, let me tell you another story about uh, Tian San Jing. This boy is a four-year-old from uh, Zhengzhou, China. He has a cerebral palsy. When his parents brought him to see a doctor, he couldn't stop drooling, and he could barely speak. What words he did make were slurred. And his movement on the left side of his body was stiff and his limbs curled tight. He couldn't play like the other kids. So his father, kneeling on the floor, touching his forehead to the ground, 
and beg the doctors, please, please help my boy. So last year, WA Hope Foundation put Tian San Jing into a clinical trials for a cutting edge stem cell therapy. After the first treatment, his drooling stopped. His language ability increased significantly. And his left side stiffness was reduced. And his arm and legs were able to uncurl. He began to laugh. Imagine Tian San Jing's parents' happiness at the first results. Happiness that will be natural to any parent of a sick child. Happiness that will be perhaps even more profound in a one-child policy. Chan, for me, these are exciting stories. These are emotional stories. These are stories worth spreading. They come from the heart, my heart. I hope you can see the passion and the hope I have. Thanks. Thank you.